Troy, one and two in the LCQ, the last chance qualifier. Final two riders making the 250 main event. Right now you see David Villeman, number 934. This is supposed to be a parade lap. He's putting on a show for the fans. Before you, you'd ask Villeman about having to run a, a short Supercross schedule because he had to get back to Europe, right, for the GPs. He was very businesslike, but now, there is no schedule conflicts, and his eyes really light up at the chance of winning an AMA number one plate. Yeah, because uh, I can come back from Minneapolis, so it's a good news for me. And um, I will do my best in San Diego before I leave to France, and the train a little bit in France to, to have a good, uh, good feeling in, in, uh, in Minnesota, Minneapolis, and in uh, Dallas. The Frenchman, Villeman, has dominated, winning the last three races, but he's only two points ahead of John Dowd. Frenchman Stefan Roncata is only nine back. Pinkery and Brandes rounding out the top five. And Marty Reed, Dowdy, seems to be in a mental vice right now. Well, I think you're right on because I had a chance to talk to him before today's race, and he says, I don't understand it right now. He says, I'm, I'm very relaxed during practice, but when it comes time to race, I'm tightening up. He tightened up a little bit in the uh, heat. I was watching him during uh, this uh, warm-up lap, uh, whereas Villeneuve was doing heel clickers. He was very methodical, looking like he was trying to study everything right down to the last letter. And David, you can comment better on this than anybody. If you're not relaxed and focused, I mean, you really got a problem on this track. Yeah, it's really tough. The track here is tight. It's very technical. And, you know, Dowd seems to have been having that problem. And I think it's not a big problem. But in the 250 class, Wyndham's having kind of the same thing. And what I would do is just change my tactics a little bit, change my approach during the week, practice more intense. And then in practice sessions at the race, he says he's relaxed. Yeah, but get out there and ride with Villeman. Go out there and ride with the fastest guys and get used to what you're going to have to do in the main. If you want to be in it, you got to ride with those guys and try to acclimate yourself more. Stefan Roncada, as opposed to Villeman, is the last to get into the gate as we take a look at the starting grid. Number 18, Roncada, joining his... Here's the Suzuki starting grid. With Ron Cotta, Schnell, Dowd, Ramsey, Brian Deegan, Yuri Dostal from Czechoslovakia on a Suzuki, Guy Cooper, number 115. 34 is up, so Villeman, Roncada, Pingree, Schnell, Hoffman, Dowd, Brandis, Ramsey, Perlili, Brolio, Preston, Cooper, Willow, Vallejo, Dostal, Pestana, Deegan, and Johnson. They're ready to go in the 125 main from San Diego. We've got the longest 30-second board in the history of the United States, I think, here in San Diego. It goes sideways. We're just about set to go. There you see the dominating points leader, number 934, right next to Dowd. And it is the king of hole shots, number 28, in the 125s, Ryan Huffman. But look who's taking advantage of him. Out in front we go with Greg Schnell, number 85, who looks so good in the heat race. And then it's John Dowd right behind him. And Billiman is in 12. He's moving up fast, but he took off in 12. Dowd got a jump out of the gate, stuck his elbow out, got it pitched off. In 15 laps, that's plenty of time for Villeman, of course, to catch up. But it's right now interesting to see that lead pack. Here comes Dowd. Well, he jammed it a little bit. So Schnell, who's running very, very smoothly, is out in front with Dowd, and then Ryan Huffman and Ron Cotta, along with Pingree in that order. Number 35 is Ramsey. Really was impressed with the way Schnell rode in the heat race. Looking strong, got a great start, and this is a real opportunity for Dowd, but only doubling right there, loses the spot. Billiman already up to seventh place. He can already see the leaders. He's just in the top of your shot right there in the blue. He's not far enough behind. Still out of Rancho Cucamonga. That's just east of Los Angeles, I believe. Last time I went through there. Ron Cotta getting a good start, but 
not really able to capitalize. A couple little mistakes in the first lap. And look at there, Ryan Huffman is now in front of John Dowd. Ryan Huffman on the Primal Suzuki. This is when you got to attack. You come out warmed up, ready to go. John Dowd has been having trouble getting out there and getting right to it. He's made events, and Huffman took it to him right there, catching by surprise, forced him to make a pass later. Billiman is in sixth. Well, what's happening to Dowd is he's watching Snell get away, and he probably feels like he should be able to beat Snell. That messes with your head a little bit. Then Huffman comes and gets by him. Ron Collins knocking on the door, and Billiman's coming as well. So he's talks about being nervous, this will do it to him. Snell is our leader. His best appearance was a fourth in Houston. Huffman, his best performance of the year, was a fourth in Los Angeles. He's in second, right now holding up, really, John Dowd and Ron Cotta, it looks like. Dowd looking for a way to get around Huffman. John Dowd to the outside, over the finish line jump. Huffman looks back. Ron Cotta just seemingly just waiting for the opportunity. Then Pingree and then Billiman. Billiman is on the way to overtaking number 29, Pingree. Now here Dowd squared that corner, put himself to the inside, but got to get in there and get a little bit more aggressive. If he had just a, a wheel closer on him there, he might have been able to make a block pass. Snell goes to the inside. He makes the pass on Pingree. He's moving up. Boy, they got a pack of riders, though, in front of him. If he's going to win this one, he's got to break through. That's a tricky section right there. All these guys are just bunched up. If you're leading that pack, you don't know where to go. If you go inside, they go wide to get a run. If you go wide, they block past you. Will Villeman continue his climb up through this field to the 125 main event? Can Schnell hold on? We'll find out when we come back. AMA Supercross is being brought to you by Motorcycle Mechanics Institute. Quality training for the motorcycle industry. And they're wrapping up, and they're off. James Dobbs looked like he was trying to anticipate it. Number 73 is Willow, Jeff Willow. Let's see how they can close up the gap right now as we look back at the lappers in front of Willow. Number 73 has to go to the outside. How's it going to affect his ride? Is Eskenazi staying inside? Now is forced to move to the outside. Eskenazi to the outside, but Willow gets a good break there. Well, I thought it, that Eskenazi might be able to get a good run at that triple from the outside, maybe pass Willow, but it's too late. And Willow, number 73. From Glendale, California, is our winner. Ashkenazi is second. It will be Dobb crossing the finish line in third. We're back to the 125 main. Round five of AMA Supercross 125 Western Division. The support race is underway. Schnell down. Here comes Brancata. Brancata makes the move into second place. And Philbin makes the move into fourth. Dow just made a little bobble getting out of the corner. Ron Cotta was following him, but was able to just move over just slightly and make the move. Well, this is the break Ron Cotta really has been looking for. A second place in Los Angeles, a fifth in Houston, a third in Phoenix, and a second last week in Seattle. He needed a good start. He has not been able to get a great start on the season. But if he can overtake Schnell and get some room with 10 laps to go on Villeman, maybe, just maybe, another Frenchman would win here in the 125s. Now they got a good chance at it. Villeman is right behind Dowd now. Dowd that time again going for the double. I'm not sure what's going on there. He needs to position himself to so get over that triple every time. Villeman now in fourth. His target right here on the Suzuki leaderboard is John Dowd. Greg Schnell, still our leader. He's got a one-second lead, though, on Ron Cotta. Ramsey has moved into fifth. Well, it's just the opposite of the way it was in their heat race. Ron Cotta lead Matt Schnell staying close the whole way. Start making a lot of difference. You get out front, ride smart, protect your line. You can hold people off, because the track here in San Diego is pretty tight. Villeman. 
working his magic right now. Now he's going to change the complexion of this race up front because his presence will make people nervous. He's going to push John Dowd, I think. It'll be the wake-up call he needs. Making the move on Dowd, getting closer and closer, trying to get the angle. He's got three wins in a row. A seventh in Los Angeles, but he had the flu during that time. And he never really brought it up. Never used it as an excuse until later on after he got his first win. This is when Dowd has to respond. This is the points leader. He's trying to hold off. He's got to hold him off, get those points back. He's got to get up to the leaders. Billiman, pounding John Dowd, Marty Reid. Yeah, one of the problems that we're noticing down here, guys, is that the mechanics area is far off the race line, and these guys are having a tough time getting their message boards out where their riders can see them. So some of these guys may be sort of riding half-blind. You know, another thing, Ron Cotta, just as I was going to say it, David, it's about time he made a move on Schnell because Villeman is making up too much time on him. Well, he knows he's coming. He can glance over his shoulder and see it. That, like I said, would change the complexion of the race. The presence of Billiman winning three in a row and how fast he goes. Seems to be in a league all by himself. Having to come through the pack has really made this a great race. So the freshman from Lyon, Stefan Roncata, is our leader with Schnell in second, John Dowd in third. Dowdy, he's inspired. He's taken the inside, catches a toe in the dirt, and takes over second place. It's a great time to do it, but then there goes Billiman at the same time. Schnell making a mistake. What Dow was trying to do was get around Schnell and use him as a buffer to hold Billiman back a little bit longer. Maybe he can get up there and dice with Roncata, but now... Seven laps to go! He's going to have to be fighting off Billiman everywhere. Billiman with Dowd in front of him, Roncata trying to make some, some time. They're picking up on a lapper, Jason McCormick, who has a bad case of the flu. And he's just trying to ride out this main event. Roncata all the way around the very inside of that corner. That's going to pay off a little later as the laps wind down. Six laps to go. Can Villeman somehow get around two riders to win his fourth in a row? We'll be right back. Five main event. John Dowd. Closer to Stefan Roncata. It's a test of endurance right now and a test of strength for Roncata. I think he feels like he's ready to take these guys all the way to the last lap. He's got it in him. He's ridden strong at a lot of the races, but hasn't got the best start, hasn't had this opportunity. And I think he feels confident in his ability. You see, he's holding that inside line right there. It's so hard to pass, but if you drift wide, you can let the guy sneak in there. You don't want to get past the last corner. Five laps to go. Down to the outside on Ricketta. Oh, Dowdy almost got it. That's one of the sections on the track. Oh, Ron Cotta only going for the double. And they go rubber to rubber right now. Let's see if they can scratch a little plastic. Here comes Villeman. Villeman making a move on down. You don't know which rider to look at at one time. This whoop Here section. comes Villeman. This whoop section could mean the difference. The guys that get a good run at it out of the corner, get a little braver towards the end, are going to really be able to make up some time through there. Ramsey moves into fourth in front of Schnell now, but our attention is out in front with three riders just riding their hearts out. Roncata, Dowd, Villeman in that order. They're going as hard as they can go, and right now Ramsey is actually making up time on them. So this could become a four-way battle at the very end. And yeah. the laps are winding down. Here comes Dowd on Roncata. They're going for the triple air, all three of them. Brian Berry telling Dowd to get me. Here comes Dowdy on the outside. Oh, he just can't quite get the angle on Roncata. We've got some lappers in front, though. Let's see how, what line they pick. Roncata to the inside. Dowd, Villeman cuts in front of Dowd. Dowd to the outside. The lappers will get in the way, and Villeman is nosed out. He's boxed out right now. This is a great fight. Here comes Dowd on Roncata. Bar to bar. Villeman cuts inside, and they both bar to bar by him. Oh, my goodness gracious. Dowd actually had to move his elbow in to keep him locking bars with Ron Cotta there. Dowdy gets the jump, takes the lead. Well, that'll make Brian Berry happy.
Murphy get mean. That's what he was talking about. Three laps to go. And look at Ramsey right Ramsey there. Ramsey taking on Billum and David Bailey. They've both gotten by Ron Cotta. One oh, mistake. Drops they the almost spot. break the plastic. <laughs> okay, now it's John Dowd. Billiman in second place. Ramsey battling it out now with Ron Cotta. Billiman. The last thing Dowd wants to see in his side mirror is, is Villeman breathing down his neck. If that could just be Ron Cotta or somebody else, it would be a little bit better the way Villeman's ridden lately. Dowdy trying to hold on for his sixth career 125 win, his second of the season. Dowd with two laps to go. Villeman, though, riding smoothly, looking for opportunity. Well, what, it, what it comes down to now, Art, is the guy that doesn't make a mistake, the guy that makes the best decision through the lappers and wants it the most. This is where you really have to use your head. You can go back to the pits later on and just go, man, why did I just, why did I make that one mistake that cost you the whole race? It one goes back second. to what Marty was saying, David. Will he tense up? Well, he is answered, and that gives you so much confidence. The adrenaline's pumping. He got passed by Villeman, passed him right back, took over the lead. He's got to be on a high right now. Weeding through the lappers, Marty. Well, the, the one thing he's doing, guys, is he's taking different lines. Remember, he talked about last time, white flag out, that he was staying in the same line, lap after lap. He's riding a great race. Down, battling, reaching back. Can he hold on? playing Frenchman. That was important right there to make that triple. Try to keep a little bit of a gap on Villeman before they enter any of these sections where Villeman's got a chance. The whoops would be one play. Got Dowdy. a great battle from between Ron Cotta and Ramsey. Ron Cotta off the track. And Ramsey continues on now in third, but Villeman has picked up some space on Dowd here in the final lap. We've got tons of lappers in front. Which line will he take? The rhythm section. Climbing up, congested turn, down, Villeman. Coming close, John Dowd sees the checkers waving. Dowdy has come back in great style. What a race in the 125s. I don't see how we can match a race like this in the 250s coming up at our main event. The big superstars, these kids have really done a great job. So it's Dowd, Villeman, Ramsey on the podium, Roncata edged out, and Schnell holding on in a top five performance. Oh my goodness, what a discussion this is going to be as Marty Reed makes his way over to the victory podium. John Dowd, I've never seen him so excited. I don't know if he's ever been so excited. This was a huge mental victory for him. Now we're seeing some of the same antics we've seen from Villeman. It's a big thrill to win, and when you win a close race like that, there's nothing like it. Dowd came into this race only two points behind Villeman, despite Villeman's three consecutive victories. He now has taken over the points lead by one point. We'll be right back in a moment. Marty Reed and David, take a look at this. Well, this was the battle between Roncotta and Ramsey. Ramsey won that one. Roncotta had to go off the racetrack, rode the whole side of the, the track down there. He didn't pick up a position, so I don't think he'll be docked from that. John Dowd, Billiman, and Ramsey on the podium with Roncotta and Schnell rounding out the top five. And as we look at six through ten of the official finishes, let's check in with Marty Reed, who's made his way over to that podium now. Uh, very happy, John Dow. We talked about it before the race. You said your confidence, your, your ability or inability to relax, and you weren't trying different lines. Boy, you changed everything tonight. Yeah, I, man, I felt like a different person out there tonight. I just, uh, you know, I felt like I was kind of moving around the track and, uh, you know, just doing different things, and that's one thing I haven't been doing, you know, the last couple of races, and, you know, I think that's, you know, what hurt me out there is not getting a good start and not being able to get out and try different stuff, and uh, it just kept me back. Yeah, but you did two things that you hadn't done recently. You were able to pass to get to the lead, then you were able yeah. to defend. Yeah, well, I kind of liked being uh, behind a little bit at first. You know, kind of, I was trying some different stuff behind him, guys, and sort of seeing what was working. And, uh, you know, once I finally got around for the lead, I, I kind of, you know, you tried using the faster lines that, that I found before. Well, great win. Let's move right next door. Second place, David Villeman. David, uh, three wins in a row. Second now. 
points battle is still not nip and tuck between you two. What was the difference in this race, in your opinion? Um, I did a, not a very bad start, and uh, it was difficult because it's a one-line track a little bit because there's so many words. And uh, John and, and I uh, start uh, far, and uh, he did a good race. I did a little bit uh, more mistakes than him, and it's why I finished second. And uh, I was not so fast to, to, to beat him tonight, and uh, it's why I finished second. But I'm happy with the race, with a bad start. Yeah, but now you're still in this battle. It looks like it's going to come down on this uh, division between the two of you. Is that the way you size it up now? Yeah, because Stefan got only a fourth position, and it's why uh, I take a I take a second place now. John is leading the championship, so it will be a good battle for between uh, both of them. Well, thank you. Good run, and still a great battle for the points. And now let's bring Nathan Ramsey in here real quick. Nathan, I, I got to tell you, you guys have had a real tough season so far. This has got to be a big boost. Oh yeah, for sure. You know. Um, you know, like, uh, as you can tell, the first few races didn't go like I wanted them to. I came out really hard, and I felt really fast. I just kind of fell, and then for the last two races, I kind of backed it down, you know, and I I think that's that's not my style, you know. I'm kind of a, on the edge, you know, go for a rider, so that's what I got to do, and uh, I, th I feel like I'm back, and uh, I feel strong, and I think that next time I'll get a good start and see what I can do then. Well, next time, guys, is Indianapolis. Ramsey adding 20 points to his points chase, and uh, but we look at the top, and that's where John Dowd has reestablished himself as the points leader. And of course, in the regional divisions of 125, the West and the East, you don't have 16 races uh, for a season. You have seven for the West and eight for the uh, East. This time, it's important that you get the edge. The time has come now when the sport's very best go at it for 20 laps. Non-stop action. McGrath, Lasgamic, LaRocco, and their friends.